A big part of a country's identity is color, especially in sport, where it should be clear to the viewer what country an athlete is representing. French athletes are a dark blue, Chinese athletes are always red, and this is reflected in their flags. In some cases, a country's national color isn't even on their own flag. Today, I'm going to look at the flags and colors of these six countries and explain why their national color isn't on their flag. The Dutch flag is a horizontal red, white, and blue tricolor, but the most widely used color to represent the nation is orange. There's a fantastic video that goes in depth behind the history of the color, but the simplified version surrounds this guy. William of Orange is considered the founding father of the Netherlands, as he was the commander for many important victories in the Dutch War for Independence against Spain. He got his orange name from the Principality of Orange, and what is now Southern France, which he inherited as a child making him the Prince of Orange. After the Dutch provinces secured independence, thanks in part to William of Orange, they adopted this flag in the 1570s. Then, in the 1630s to the 1660s, red began to replace orange in the flag for a few reasons. Some sources suggest that the orange dye began to fade on the flags, making the flag naturally turn into a red, white, and blue tricolor. Other sources say it is because of political change and a growing dissociation in the new Dutch Republic from the House of Orange. The flag went through a couple more changes before it became the one we know today. However, the color orange has always remained as a symbol for Dutch patriotism. Another European country with a tricolor, this time it's the German black, red, and gold flag. Most sports fans recognize Germany as the team in white. The white originates from the flag of the North German Confederation, which was formed in 1867 by Prussia after political instability amongst the states of the German Confederation. The white on the flag is thus drawn from the Prussian flag. The North German Confederation remained until 1918 before the flag was reverted to the old black, red, and gold tricolor. Despite this, most German sporting associations formed in the years between 1867 and 1918 chose white as the main color. In the years since, the German football kit has incorporated the colors of the modern flag, but white has always remained as the predominant color. The green, white, and red tricolor of Italy does not match the athletes that represent it. The blue comes from the color of the House of Savoy, which was a ruling dynasty throughout the many periods of Italian history dating back for over 1,000 years. The origin of the color can be dated back to 1366, when this guy requested an azure blue flag to be flown on the flagship of a fleet during a crusade. Since then, blue has remained as one of the colors of Italy. The first use in sport was 1911, when the football team wore blue kits against Hungary after playing two games in white because no one could decide what color to wear. The color stuck and is now used by any Italian athlete in any sport, except auto racing and bobsleigh. The land of the rising sun's iconic Hinomaru represents exactly that, a rising sun. The sun is an important figure in Japanese history, as ancient Shinto legend dictates that the imperial family are direct descendants of the sun god Amaterasu. As a result, flags representing Japan since 701 AD have incorporated a rising sun but the official color scheme was adopted in 1854. In contrast, the national football team does not have red or white as a dominant color, but blue yet again. The Samurai Blue dates back to the 1930 Far Eastern Championship Games, where the team representing Japan was from the Tokyo Imperial University, whose colors are light blue. Blue stuck as the color of the national team, and when Japan upset Sweden wearing blue 3-2 in the 1936 Olympics, superstitious Japanese fans would not let go of the color. They would be proven right when the kit was redesigned to red in 1988 and Japan subsequently crashed out of their first ever Asian Cup, failed to qualify for the 1990 World Cup, and failed again to qualify for the 1992 Olympics. Since then, blue has accompanied Japan's rise to one of the best Asian footballing nations. The completely independent, sovereign state of Australia's flag inexplicably still features the flag of the UK, the Union Jack, on a blue background. It is almost identical and very often confused with the flag of another nation soon to come on this list. Debate over whether to change or keep the flag has been going on since 1954, with many alternative flags being proposed over the years. Despite this, the national flag has remained since 1901, when it won a contest held by Australian newspapers. Here's a quote from the then Republican magazine The Bulletin. A staled réchauffé of the British flag with no artistic value, no national significance. Minds move slowly, and Australia is still Britain's little boy. What more natural than that he should accept his father's cut-down garments, lacking the power to protest and only dimly realizing his will. That bastard flag is a true symbol of the bastard state of Australian opinion. The official national colors are green and gold. All athletes that represent the country are dressed in these colors, which are nowhere to be seen on the national flag. Green and gold were first worn by the Australian national cricket team in 1899, 
and since then, almost all athletes representing the country have worn the colors. The green is said to represent the gum tree, and gold represents the color of the national flower of Australia, the golden wattle. The completely independent, sovereign state of New Zealand's flag inexplicably still features the flag of the UK, the Union Jack on a blue background. It is almost identical and very often confused with Australia, hence why I copied and pasted the exact same intro from Australia's bit. Debate over this flag has been more fierce and New Zealanders have come closer to changing the flag, holding official referendums in 2015 and 2016. 56.7% of people voted to retain their abomination over this flag. Most people know New Zealand sports teams, especially the rugby team, as the All Blacks. The colors used in sport dates back to the 19th century, when it was common for rugby teams to travel, most often playing squads across New Zealand, Australia, and the UK. In 1888 and 89, the New Zealand natives, as they were called, went on a tear dressed in all black with a silver fern. Despite black being a significant color in Maori culture, historians chalk up the decision to wear black to more practical reasons than cultural. What you gotta remember is, England wore white, Scotland wore blue, Ireland green, and Wales wore scarlet. So it made a lot of sense to wear black because they weren't going to clash with any of those teams, says New Zealand journalist Ron Polensky. The All Blacks have never looked back, and the name still strikes fear in any opposing rugby team. Black has also been adopted by almost every New Zealand sport team, including the badminton team, who wanted to call themselves the Black Hawks. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment if I made a mistake or tell me what you thought about the video. If you liked it, I recommend you subscribe as there will be more videos like this one that I plan on making. Okay, you can click off the video now I guess. Have a nice day. Bye.